hello guys welcome to mr legend crypto guys in this video we're taking a look at an altcoin fetch.ai currently trading for 0.09 dollars how high can fetch.ai go if we get a relief rally in the altcoin market right now we're deep down in the crypto bear market fetch.ai has currently lost 81.3 percent of its value in the last one year but i've been seeing some signs of life in the altcoin market on a monthly time frame and on a weekly time frame and fetch.ai is currently up 45.4 percent in the last one month in the last one week alone it's currently up 24.8 percent so how high will fetch.ai go if the relief rally continues in the altcoin market we'll also be looking at fetch.ai's performance against bitcoin fetch.ai's performance against ethereum and we'll also take a peek at fetch.ai's market cap Currently, this altcoin has a market cap of $67 million. How high can the market cap go? We have been seeing Fedros AI's market cap dump from the $830 million region where we got to in September 2021. The market cap has come to set a low in the bear market of 2022 of $39 million. How high are we going to go if we get a rally in the altcoin market? We will be talking about that and more in this video. But first guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So if you want to make money long-term trading or investing in cryptocurrencies, if you want to get the latest crypto news, price predictions, and chart analysis, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like these. Let's get down to business. One, two, Guys, deep in the crypto bear market of 2022, some altcoins have been showing signs of life on a daily time frame, on a weekly time frame, and also on a monthly time frame. We're about to get a rally in the altcoin market if everything is going according to plan. So how high will Fedrot AI go if that rally comes through? Right now, we have seen Fedrot AI set a new low in the bear market of 2022. We have seen this altcoin get to as low as the $0.052 level. It actually had a pump to the upside, getting to as high as $0.12, going up more than 141% in less than 21 days. All coins are very, very volatile that way. We can see it continue pumping to the moon. But right now, can we set new all time highs in the bear market? Key levels I'll be paying attention to and key levels where Fetch.ai might start facing some resistance if we're pumping to higher prices. First, the $0.053 level where Fetch.ai bottomed out in this bear market. Right now, that's the bear market bottom for Fetch.ai. There's always a possibility that we'll come back to the $0.05 level. Guys, most times in crypto, you think the bottom is in and then the market will tell you that maybe just maybe you are wrong and maybe just maybe we may even come to as low as a $0.036 level. That's very, very possible for Fetch.ai AI to get that low in this bear market. From where we're currently trading right now, it's just take it going down another 60% for us to get there and that can happen very, very quickly. We have seen Fetch.ai AI go from as high as $0.52 in April 2022 dumping to as low as a $0.09 level. In 70 days, Fetch.ai lost 87% of its value. So be careful with all coins. Yes, they are very profitable when they are pumping to the upside, but when they start dumping to Goblin Town, you don't want to be holding those altcoins. But if you're a long-term investor, if you're going to be holding Fetch.ai for a very long time till the end of the next bull run, right now in the bear market, guys, is when you want to be accumulating. Another key level to pay attention to for Fetch.ai in this bear market is where we're currently trading around the $0.09 level. Fetch.ai has had some huge, huge reactions to that level in the past. In 2019, we caught a bounce off that level. If you take a look at what happened in 2020, when we went above that level, a lot of people started getting bullied. And that was a warning sign. Before we start pumping to new all time highs in January 2021, we had to take a chill pill around the $0.09 level. And if you take a look at what Fedrot AI is doing in the bear market of 2022, that's where we're currently parambulating, trying to find support around that level. But if the relief rally continues and Fedrot AI continues pumping to higher prices, another level where Fedrot AI might end the rally or where we might find heavy, heavy resistance might be around the $0.18 level. Fedros Air was catching some bounce of that level in 2021. Before we even dumped to Goblin Town, we went below that level, came back to confirm that maybe just maybe we have broken that crucial support and then we continue our journey to Goblin Town. If you take a look at what Fedros AI did before the bull run started, we got stopped at that level in August 2020. So I'll not be shocked to see us get stopped at the $0.18 level if Fedros AI pumps to that level. It will mean from the bottom that Fedros AI set around the $0.05 level in November 2022, for it to get to that $0.18 level, 
Fedroth AI will have to go up 250%. And that can happen very, very quickly. The last time we saw Fedroth AI pump into the moon, we saw it go up more than 500% in just 77 days. This pump right here for Fedroth AI was a 2,100% pump, and that happened in 147 days. This other pump was more than a 1,900% pump, and that happened in 161 days. So if you want to be profitable holding these altcoins, you have to be willing to think long term. You have to be willing to hold them through the pumps and through the dumps. If you take a look at some details about Fedge.ai, in the last one year, this altcoin has gone from as high as $0.64 to as low as $0.053. It currently has a market cap of $67 million, a fully directed market cap of $104 million, and out of the maximum supply of 1.1 billion tokens, out of the maximum supply of 1.1 billion coins, we have over 746 million Fedge.ai coins in circulation. Fedge.ai is currently ranked 282 on coin market cap. Over 117,000 people have this all coin on their watch list. What makes Fedge.ai unique and why they want to accumulate some in the bear market? Fedge.ai's utility token FET was designed to find, create, deploy, and train digital twins, and it's an essential part of a smart contract and oracles on the platform. Where can you get some Fedge.ai if you want to get some in the bear market, getting ready for the next bull run? If you believe that relief rally is going to come through and you want to make some quick gains, where can you trade some Fedge.ai? You can get some on Binance, on Coinbase Exchange, on Qcoin, on Kraken, on Bitstamp, on Bitfenix, and guys, Anywhere you get your popular altcoin, you can get some Fedge.ai right there. You take a look at Fedge.ai's performance against Bitcoin. We have this dance we're doing. When the market is pumping, you see it pump against Bitcoin. But when the market is dumping, you see it dump way harder than Bitcoin. Throughout the bull run, we saw this altcoin outperform Bitcoin by over 1,100%. That was good to see. But the flip side to that is that in the bear market, it has also lost 84% of its value against Bitcoin. If we get a relief rally in the altcoin market, if we get a relief rally in the altcoin market, I expect Fedge.ai to probably outperform Bitcoin, but I will not be shocked to see it dumped to Goblin Town while Bitcoin is pumping to the moon. And if you take a look at Fedge.ai's performance against Ethereum, it's similar to its performance against Bitcoin. It dumps when the market is dumping, it outperforms Ethereum when the market is pumping, and Fedge.ai's market cap. Currently at the $67 million region, we have seen the market cap drop to as low as $39 million in the bear market. Fedros Air's market cap went from as high as $864 million at the top of the bull run, crumbling down more than 95% in the bear market. There's always a possibility that we'll see Fedros Air's market cap going lower, probably coming back to test maybe the $26 million region, which would mean from the all-time high the Fedros Air's market cap set in September 2021, the market cap would just be down around 96%, which is somehow still normal for all coins. The reason why we like all coins is they are very, very volatile to the downside. And to the upside, when the market starts pumping, you see these all coins pumping to the moon. And that's when you'll be happy that you bought them when they were down in Goblin Town. Now, if that relief rally comes through for Fedge.ai, I expect us to find some trouble when we're pumping. Maybe, maybe around the $144 region. That region has been significant for Fedge.ai over the last two years. We got stopped at that level in August 2020. We saw Fedge.ai catching some bounce at that level in July 2021. And before we dumped to Goblin Town, we had to take a chill pill around that level. So I'll not be shocked to see Fedro's AI's market cap get rejected at the $144 million level. If we are lucky in the bear market rally, we might see Fedro's AI's market cap maybe even get to that $355 million region. So guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think that relief rally is going to come through for us in the altcoin markets? How high do you think Fedro's AI is going to pump if we get that relief rally? Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video.